going to have a look at the Ford Barra cylinder head today. I'm going to go through and uh, show you some pointers and uh, where to port them. Also at the end of the video I'll uh, give you an example of one of my cylinder heads on a race car. First of all we're going to look at some uh, sections that I've done on one of the cylinder heads. Uh, looking at the intake side first, uh, we've got a clear view of the water jackets and there is a decent amount of material in these heads so uh, they, they can do uh, with some decent porting. Removing another section there you can see that there is good material um, at the short turn radius of these cylinder heads and uh, they don't actually need much material removed from their short turn because it is uh, quite a, a good generous radius there from stock. This is with the other half of the section uh, still looking at the intake side and you can again see there's plenty of material there. Uh, there is a water jacket up on that uh, near the top middle that is near the divider uh, but you don't have to remove enough material for that to be an issue. Now moving over to the exhaust side of the uh, cylinder head. Again there's um, plenty of water around the exhaust board as per normal with cylinder heads but there is still plenty of material and the exhaust ports don't need a lot of work uh, only mainly up in the, the exit and just in their short turn area to um, provide enough flow for most situations. Again when I pull apart the uh, extra section there you can still see that there is plenty of material nice thick casting and uh, you know, they're, they're great to work with. Looking at the other half of the section again, still the, uh, the exhaust port side, we can still see that there is, there is plenty of water but, but still enough material to work with. Moving on, we're looking at the uh, stock intake port of this barrow head. It is the early version, uh, the BABF cylinder head. They do flow quite well in stock form uh, around the 250 CFM mark. Now this is an example of a development port that was used for the cylinder head that I'll show you later on. You'll be able to see at the divider down in the bottom corners there. That's where I've removed most of the material uh, to make the floor flat. And also on the outside edges that's had material removed as well to make the floor flat approaching the short turn. With a mild case you don't need to take any material out of the floor. The floor is at a good height, now you can just clean it up with your burr and same thing with the short turn. You don't need to take a lot of material out of there but in those corners just to flatten the floor uh, it proves to be a lot of benefit there. Looking at the short turn and the bowl of this stock port you can see where they have uh, run their machine through and just throated it. Um, it does need to be blended in but you don't need to remove a lot of material here to get a good flow. Going across to the development port you can see that these uh, throats are, are a lot larger. These are sized for 2mm oversized valves, uh, that's why they, they're so large. But even still, th you don't need to take a heap of material out of the short turn to make sure that it's stable. You will see where I was talking about earlier in those corners uh, where material has been removed, especially on the divider side. This does uh, help increase flow considerably. The bowls can be opened up a little bit, uh, but again, they don't need a, a lot of work just to make sure that their ratios are right. Looking at the stock exhaust port, uh, they do flow reasonably well, but their limitation is the, um, the, the cross section above the short turn and up into its own bowl is actually its minimum area. That does need to be opened up if you really want to start to push these things. Raising the roof just to gasket size from the left hand corner to the right hand corner and the roof only did prove to uh, gain quite significant flow uh, when I was trying to push the limits. Looking at the short turn and bowl now of the stock exhaust port uh, you'll see here where I'll put the arrow is the minimum area and you know you, you do need to take a little bit of material out of there out of the short turn and out of the bowl to increase their maximum flow. The chamber is just a basic pent roof, very basic, nice and open, uh, there's no hindrance to flow whatsoever uh, with these chambers. Just going to let a slideshow run of pictures of the intake and exhaust ports of a barrow head uh, that I did for some guys in Tasmania. Uh, they're two millimetre oversized valves, 
it uh, ended up flowing 330 CFM on the intakes. Uh, it has performed uh, exceptionally well. You'll see uh, exactly what car it has been uh, placed on um, as a mild combination for now and will be upgraded in the future uh, to produce 2000 plus horsepower. Currently the uh, GTR Tirana, uh, which might upset a few people having a barrier engine in it, um, has run in the uh, 840s, uh, had 172 mile an hour was its best. Uh, it had to pull a lot of power out, having a lot of uh, traction issues. Um, at 172 miles an hour and this car's weight is uh, definitely uh, a seven second pass. The uh, car is being rebuilt as we speak. New rear end because they didn't have enough suspension adjustment to make the car go uh, quicker on uh, drag challenge. And uh, this car competed drag challenge uh, in early 2023. Uh, performed you know, quite well for its first outing and uh, took home you know, a few trophies. The guys had a really good week uh, with the car, a lot of fun, and uh, laid down some good passes. In the end, they uh, they come home with the fastest six-cylinder uh, drag challenge, uh, also the fastest Ford-powered vehicle, uh, even against uh, twin turbocharged V8 Ford power plants. So uh, we went really, really well, and uh, very happy with its performance. And when we get a chance, uh, hopefully this year. The bottom end of the motor will be stepped up to a 4.2 litre stroker, all forged bottom end, uh, much bigger camshafts, and then it will actually run, instead of the plasma manned intake manifold there, uh, it will be run with a, uh, a manifold that I match to the cylinder head, but uh, the, the firewall needs to be modified to fit that actual manifold. So hopefully that will all get done by the end of this year and when it's up and running and uh, running some more numbers and uh, some more dyno runs, I'll definitely make another video. Thanks again for uh, watching and hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.